Hello everybody, this is to address one of the questions that I got from the previous videos on how I configure Mango HUD. So for Mango HUD, you go to the GitHub, well at least what I did. You go to GitHub, you download the latest version here, like the last one, download zip, that's it. Okay, you create your fo your folder and you put the thing there, the, the, everything about Mango HUD, you put it there, okay. So here's this one. I actually created my Mango HUD, and inside of it, it's the Mango HUD Git. If you don't have Git, you gotta install Git. Okay, so Git plus anything else that Mango HUD requires, which they actually mention here nicely. Hey, we need this, and we need that, and we need cookies, and we need cake, and any a bunch of ba actually basic things. If you've been compiling before, um. This is just basic stuff. Um, and But they actually tell you step by step here in a nice, neat fashion. Okay. And they do have their own build uh, tool. It's called build, build um, sh. Let me see if it's here. Oh, it is there. Yeah. Okay. Oops. Build sh. And you get this here. And if you run it, for example, let's pull. Let's let me see if I haven't done it. Okay, there's new updates there. Um, and if I need to configure something, it will tell me, hey, you're missing this thing or that thing. Here you can just see um, deprecation with the current Python that Ubuntu has on this one, and that's that's practically it. Um, if I run the install, let's do an install there. Just configure it. Let's do an install. You can see. It's also the well, all the compiling, and then once it's it's ready, it actually pushes the files to the proper uh, folders that it's supposed to go to. If it requires a password, it'll ask you here, as you can see. And that's it. That's all I do to prepare the system to have the latest Mango HUD. Why do you need the latest Mango HUD? Because as it turns out, if I don't have the latest one, I'm using the 0.7. That vertical way of showing mango hut doesn't work so that that's why i wanted to show you that part and let me let's copy this here okay and let's open yeah let's open another thing here so you can see the actual parameters that i'm actually using for the mango hut okay I'm gonna leave this one here, which is the actual ones that I'm using, and I'm going to open the finals, for example. I'm gonna open the finals, and there's more things here that you need to read. For example, if we go to the logging part, which is very interesting, you you need to learn that, for example, you, have, you can use Shift F2 to toggle the login process, so it actually starts, and if you press it again, it will stop, and we'll show you an average percentile kind of thing there uh, of what I gather during the time frame that you were actually logging in the FPS. Um, if you press Shift F2, right Shift in this case, it hides the Mango HUD just in case it bothers you at the top and stuff like that. Okay, now let's look for a game that can actually load really fast. Uh, it was like a shoo shoo, sh yeah, this one parameters that I'm um, that I showed you there on the document I'll explain them in a bit but I want to show you this a game that just loads fast so you can actually see the the login part that I'm talking about so here's Okay, let's log into the game. Choo Choo Charles, or Charlie or something. Okay, so once you're inside the game, we got that, that performance that you're seeing at the top. If you press Shift F12, I mean F2, Shift, Left Shift, Shift F2, nothing will happen on the Mango Hut, but it's actually logging in the FPS performance and the longer that you leave it running I'm just gonna like go down here let me just run a little bit here pick some scrap there's some scrap more scrap in there 
You gotta watch out for a creepy train. Train spider something. Could be somewhere in there. Let's leave it running for a couple of seconds. And nothing down here. Really? And I think. Oh my god, there's somebody. Um. And I think that's more than enough. If I press Shift F2 again, this happens. It will show you the the everything that was logged in as uh, as a statistical analysis. Okay, so you're gonna get the 97 percentile, the average one. Eric. So Shift F2, you get this. So basically, we tested for 65 seconds. We have 270 in the 97. The average was 156. On the one percent, we got 95. So on and so forth. Okay, very interesting. If you press right shift in F12, it hides the the mango hood. Okay, so again, if you want to log in, shift F2. You wait a couple of seconds or minutes or however long you want to wait. You press shift F2 again, and it tells you how long it was logging in the information. And there you go. So now let's go to the actual settings that I have for it. Here are all the the information. Just in case for logging in, it actually says here, hey, for logging in, you you do need the output folder. You can see here. So I got my parameter called Mango HUD config equals, and then all the values that you want to put there so that the Mango HUD at the end looks the way that I have it. Okay. So I got the output folder pointing to a specific folder I have there to save everything that's logged in just for doing logging in uh, FPS analysis. You got the horizontal parameter, which by the way, here are all the parameters. Everything is in here, okay? I put both of them. I don't remember why I actually needed both of them, but at least this is the setup that I have. Horizontal, horizontal stretch, so it goes to the full width. I think this was because I had the, the, the video card name there and it was it was looking weird if it wasn't stretched. The frame timing, why do I have it twice? Well, I, actually I can just come here and see the frame timing and I can see the notes. For example, frame time, display frame time next to FPS text. Oh, uh, and then frame timing which could be somewhere in there. I don't see that. Or I'm blind. Whatever. Maybe it's in there. Maybe it's not. Or maybe it was noted somewhere. Let me just search. Why Why is this here? Oh. A partial list of... Para oh, right. Because there's some defaults there. By default, they're there. And they're enabled by default. So I wanted to turn this one off. I think this is like a graph kind of thing. For me, just annoying. Um, the font size, because on on 4K, now that we're recording on 4K, it was it was very small. Okay, so I had to make it bigger. The GPU name, the resolution, and that's it. If you look at the way the order in which I, I'm putting them here, uh, they might resemble the way that I actually show on the game. I don't know if there's a, if I change the order, it'll change the order in which they actually show on the Mango HUD. We're gonna test that in a second. So right now you see that resolution is the last one. Is the last one. Let's see what happens. Just let me change it here. If I put resolution next to the GPU name, just just for testing purposes. Again, we gotta be very objective here. Just analyze everything from an objective kind of point. Okay, so it, it doesn't doesn't do that. Maybe there's a priority in which things actually show in one way or another. I was actually looking for, and there's a parameter that it's not here yet, or an option, I mean, that's not here yet, which is the following. I mean, for me, would be, you see it where it says NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090, I would like for that 56 font size to also apply for this, because we have this space there, so that it looks more neat, like everything with the same font size okay instead of the way that it's showing right now 
I haven't found an option there, but at least here's what it, that's my setting to do this. But in order for you to do that setting, you got to make sure that you compile Mango Hut yourself with just those steps that I show you here. You do the, the pull, configure, install, put the password, you're done. That's it. That's, that's all I did here. Very straightforward. And the Mango Hut team did a beautiful job here. That's all I can say. So, but yeah, that's, there's no other tricks. That's all. Read the, the GitHub with any other configurations and options that you want to actually include when you're recording it yourself. There's a lot of them here for you to customize that even even further um yeah and enjoy think positive big hugs bye